Hello everyone, Marty here from Simulator Aviation. Here you'll see Orbix's new scenery package for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. LOWZ, Zellum C Airport. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you this airport. They've got a really cool feature at this location. Short field, takeoff landing, identified here in the right corner of the screen. It's a very technical airport to land at. Also, it's a very uh, cool, beautiful, scenic area. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fly around this airport, and I'm going to show you guys what it takes to land the Cub in this location. So in the sim, you're going to see beautiful mountainous area. You can see my plane sitting here on the ground. She's all fired up, ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves into the plane. We're going to take a look at this uh, beautiful airstrip here. The white markers is kind of like where you want to touch the plane down at. It looks like a very long, grassy runway here. But trust me when I tell you, it's not as long as it actually appears to be when you're in the plane trying to get her down on the ground. Here we are sitting on the ground at LOWZ. This instructional video will cover short field takeoff and short field landing and what it takes to get this plane stopped between the white lines. So, check our flaps. We're gonna go one stage of flaps and the mixture is set and let's run up the power. So running up the power, once we get a little bit of airspeed, what we'll do is we'll push forward on the stick to get the nose to come down so we can see where we're going. And we're pushing forward on the stick. A little bit of rudder inputs, and let's pull up, and we're airborne. Beautiful. This is definitely by far my favorite aircraft in the entire simulator. It flies really well. It's got a really good power plant. Um, it's very challenging to land at a lot of different locations that are very, very short field approaches. Uh, the aircraft, if, if you're not on the, the speeds uh, coming down you know, for your approach, if you're a little fast, this plane can get away from you pretty quickly, but I have a resolution or a fix for that. So basically what we're gonna do is, if we're a little bit high coming down on the approach, what we'll do is we'll gain some altitude here. We are high on the approach. What we're going to do is we're going to kick the rudder in. Uh, I typically kick the rudder to the right and roll the aircraft to the left um, to get my side slip in. And what that does is it bleeds airspeed all the way down on your approach to the runway. Uh, the other thing about this plane is if you do come in uh, a little bit high, like I said, it's it's very difficult to manage the speed um, before you know it you're a little bit fast on the approach and you may completely miss your landing altogether. So what I like about this airport is you've got a white line on either side of the runway. So it gives you a really cool start point and finish point uh, reference guides to get the plane stopped within. And it's a very challenging airplane to do this with. So as we're coming in for the turn, I know that the grass strip is right beside the runway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on a little bit of an angle so I can get the side slip in. I was talking to you guys about. So right there is 80 knots. So I've got a little power in, about 20% power. And we're gonna kick a little bit more flap in here. Check our flaps, make sure everything's set up properly. It looks good. And we are lined up to the center point of the runway. And as you can see, we're a little high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little more flap. And I'm gonna kick the rudder to the right. And you're going to see as I'm kicking the rudder to the right, I'm starting to turn or or get the ailerons to fight the direction of travel. And I'm going to pull back on the power just a little bit more. And you can see that I can see out the left window. It's a challenge with that bar right in front of you. So we're just holding this approach. And at the very last second, what we're going to do is we're going to kick the rudder back to neutral. Get the plane to touch down nice and gently and get on the brakes. We're going to pull back on the stick. 
And look at that. We're down before the white line. It's very, very, very difficult to do. Uh, the first few times I did it, it was funny. I overshot the, 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 you know, the finish line. And at the end of the, the line there, there's a fence. And you go crashing through the fence if you're not careful. So be cautious. This is a really fun airport to fly at. I really enjoy flying at this airport. Uh, it's a really pretty area. Orbix did a really great job with the scenery. Uh, the buildings that are around the area are actually a bit of a challenge. As you can see, we're flying over top of this building right here. If you don't get on the power, if you don't have the mixture set just right, uh, you'll go plowing into that into that barn, and the farmer won't be all that happy about that. That's unfortunate. So it's a really pretty day out here. Um, the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's take a little flight around the airport here for a minute. Let's take a look at the area. A couple little ponds, good place to do some fishing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on the other side of the airport this time around. And you can see that there's a couple of grass lines that you can follow if you're not 100% sure where the airport is if you're coming down through the valley. So you just follow that river all the way down, which will lead you to those two grass lines in the roadway down there. Really cool uh, VFR reference points. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn right around the foothill of this hit of this mountain here. Oh, we got a really decent lineup. All right, so let's start, start our turn to the left. Okay, so let's start lining up the approach, pull back on the power, we'll get one stage of flaps in, check the flap setting, get our second stage of flaps in. Now as you can see we're a little fast in this approach, so what we're going to do is we're going to start utilizing that slide slip technique I was explaining to you earlier. So there's right, right rudder, and I'm fighting the plane I'm keeping the aircraft rolled to the left and as you can see it's going to be a little fast approach pull back on the stick level out the rudder down she is well we're not going to make it so what we're going to do is we're going to take back off very very difficult very challenging very fun approach get those flaps up we don't want to kill the airspeed here so I really want you guys to try this. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of, uh, I've spent a lot of time trying to land at this airport. And I'm going to say that 50% of my landings go great and 50% of my landings not so great. Uh, but you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And right there, I knew when to fold them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one last approach. Gain a little bit of altitude here. We're at 75 knots. Start a right hand turn. Let's ease back on the power. Let's put one stager flap in. See the runway right in front of us. Pull back on that engine speed here. Let's put another stage of flap in. Alright, so we are going to nail this approach, guys. Let's get her in there. Pull back on the 500. power. 500. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start entering our side slip. So right rudder, left aileron. You can try this technique at a lot of different airports inside of the flight simulator. It works really well at a lot of different locations. OK, 
Okay, so the rudder's coming back to neutral. Pull back on the stick and in with the brakes. That was a really good approach, nice and clean. Really nice touchdown. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you around the next time.